everything in society, there's just so much in society right now that is designed to tear the Black family apart. And it starts with the Black man and your masculinity. And I'm not talking about masculine energy. I'm talking about masculinity, period. And it's just, to me, irresponsible. um, And it's not just fashion to me. Straight boys and and straight girls don't, I mean, straight boys and straight men don't belong in dresses. That is not just fashion. That is an agenda, period. We don't see a bunch of white men wearing dresses. We don't see a bunch of white rappers wearing dresses. And it just is something that burns me up. This is not a gay thing. This is not a homophobe thing. I am fine with you choosing who you want to choose to love. What I'm not fine is the representation and the agenda that's being pushed toward straight people, specifically that. straight black men. I feel that. That is not okay with me. No, 100%. No, I'm saying, the reason I'm saying it's not, when you put it that way, yes, I do not, that, that is an a, agenda, yes, like men being in dresses, like to portray, especially if I can uh, put myself in a position where let's say I have a son and my son sees it, then I, I 100% understand that. And it's just, I guess we're in a world where people are going to people. Like, people want to do what they want to do, what makes them happy. Mm-hmm. And it's very acceptable amongst the masses. And if you talk against what someone's preference is, you get slandered. But mm-hmm. at the same time, the the I do have a... If, there are a group of people that have an agenda and they're pushing that, saying, listen, let's, let's feminize the masculine man for this particular agenda, I have a problem with those people. Now, if he saw that dress and liked it and said, let me just wear that, I don't got to, I don't got to, I don't got to rock with him. That ain't my boy. If if, if that was my boy, we going to have a conversation like, yo, what's up? Yeah, what I doing? think, like I said, I feel like this is more of a costume than anything, but I'm talking more about... He said he liked that joint. He said he liked, that. he said he saw that and like, let me get that. <laughs> uh, but, but what about like, the Dwayne Wade's, going back to him. I'm not with that. I'm not, well, and even more, even deeper than him. But he so, likes, I mean, it's his. Well, but uh, listen, listen, listen. So there are some people who are born gay, right? Who believe that they're born gay. I also believed that homosexuality is also, in addition to being born that way, I also believe there are people who were taught to be that way, right? I believe that it was a learned behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like, I'm not going to say that. I believe that there are some people that learn the behavior. And so I have to wonder, Dwayne Wade wears dresses and, you know, all this stuff. He was painting his nails at one point and doing all kind of weird stuff. Could that be related to the decision that his former son, now daughter, has made about his own life? Like you see... Oh, your, changing the sexuality. Changing his sexuality yeah. and coming out and wanting to wear dresses and stuff. Could he have been born that way? Absolutely. But could he have been influenced by his superstar mom or stepmom who wears these fabulous gowns and dresses and now his superstar dad who gets all this attention for dressing feminine, could he also have been influenced? 